Hey guys, so I know that a lot of you have some kind of issue with uh, the rule we have at the NLSC, which is that we do not allow the distribution of original files. Um, just to explain it real quick, we don't allow the distribution of original files because it kind of it helps piracy. Okay, the people who cannot legally reinstall the game, um, you know, they we don't want to help them. You know, we want to keep our, whatever relationship we have with EA and 2K you know permanent and nice and we don't want to help out pirates who are not supporting the games that we love to play year after year after year after year so that's why we encourage people to back up so you don't have to reinstall to get original files that you may have edited and screwed up you know so this is how you can do it if you have the disk version of the game pretty simple you right click the disk you go open and all of these cab files contain every single file that is installed with the game. You can open them up with RINRAR, and as you can see, they're all here. So let's say I screwed up my portraits. I can just grab them, drag them out of that cab file, which might take a second because I just heard my uh, DVD drive uh, spin up. Here it comes. I promise you. <laughs> And you can extract these files from these cab files. Here we go. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. And then all you have to do is just get rid of that little uh, underscore. Open up your 2K13 folder. Click and drag them in. And, rep and well, replace or in your case, you know, just get them into you know, your folder. And that's how you get the original files off the disk. Now, a lot of people don't buy the disk version anymore. A lot of people use, and the only way you can get the digital distribution version of the game this year legally is through Steam. So if you need to back up your original files off the Steam version, you can do something called Verify Catch. And what that does is uh, it reinstalls your game without reinstalling the game, if that makes sense. Um, it gives you all the original files back, but without having to reinstall the game, which deals, which as you guys know, or some of you might know, if you reinstall the game NBA 2K13, you have to get a new friggin' CD key from 2K support, because they screwed up royally this year. So, this is a little bit more complicated because it takes a lot longer, but this is why you back up your files. <laughs> Go to your, where the Steam game is installed. Now normally, this will be in uh, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, common and then your game should be installed here um, I use an alternate folder which you can set up now in my steam games and since I don't have any NBA 2k I have 2k 9 but I don't have that installed NBA 2k games through steam I own the disc versions we're gonna do MLB 2k 12 just to show you an example so we just like 2k NBA games we have all of these friggin files now like you, all of us on the PC version, we install mods and we want to keep those mods. So what you're going to want to do is right click, create a new folder we'll call backup because we want to back up your files. In the uh, details view, go ahead and click mo date modified. Scroll all the way to the top and if you look here, all these date modifieds are different than from the original game. So I know these are my modified files that I have in the game. So I can go ahead and select them. And I believe those are all the mods I had installed. Right, so you can just cut them, go back down to your newly created backup folder, paste them in, and that's it. You can then go to your Steam library find the game that you are trying to uh, redeem, or get original files for, and you right click and da, 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 da. I believe you go to properties, updates, local files, there we go, verify int integrity of game catch. You click that and it will validate and re-download files that you know you don't have legitimate in the uh, folder. So that is the basic way to, you know, back, it, it's just so much easier just to, literally, you, you, you want to install um, 
patch for the Celtics floor. Guess what? Copy paste before you bring it over. That is it. If you do editing with it, if you use the regular mod tool, the 2K12 mod tool, it automatically creates these backup files for you. So really just save yourself the headache because you're not going to get original files through the NLSC community, okay? We can't take the chance of helping pirates out because seriously guys, support the game if you downloaded it. Support the game so we can get an NBA 2K14 because it's not guaranteed year after year after year because we don't have as big of a market share as the consoles. So that's my plea to you guys. That is how you get your original files off the disc or through Steam. I hope this helps. I really hope I really, really hope that this helps the people who keep asking for digital files, but seriously, just copy-paste first, okay? So take care, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.